Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video. In this video, this will be a short video, short fix to the projectile because uh, sometimes you face problems with when the projectile interacts with the uh, physics simulating objects. Let me show you what I uh, mean. I set up a machine gun uh, projectile. You see. Now you saw when I hit the tank with the uh, machine gun, especially when it is moving, the tank gets thrown away and uh, flipped multiple times in the air, which is unrealistic. To fix this, uh, also you may face this uh, problem in the, the tank shell projectile, but because the tank shell has lower uh, rate of fire you do not see this problem uh, easily but if you are using a machine gun like I used you may have this problem so to fix this first we need to make the projectile simulate physics uh, because uh, when objects two objects simulate physics uh, interact with each other you will have a good result not like the result that you saw so to start with uh, we need to go to the projectile i will change the uh, machine gun projectile we can also implement the same thing for the tank shell projectile I start with the sphere and search for simulate physics and simulate uh, generated events also now uh, we delete the projectile stop and we use instead we use the component hit component hit also here on this sphere search for CCD continuous uh, collision detection then if you are uh, implementing uh, radial impulse on uh, hit you will need to uncheck the velocity change uh, and also here on the sphere type damage and uncheck the apply impulse on damage also you want to go to your uh, to the tank uh, mesh or tank projectile uh, blueprint and make sure it simulates physics and it simulates generated result also search for damage remove the apply impulse on damage uh, sometimes you do not need to do this uh, for the time being I will leave it on the true and continue changing my uh, projectile also you need to decrease the size of the projectile especially if you are using high rate of fire like a machine gun I'll make it 4 centimeters also to make sure that the this code happens once on impact you you will use the do once node because sometimes it registers more than one hit so we, we need only one hit to, to register not more than this now let's do uh, let's try let's shoot at the Also, when I shoot the turret, shoot at the to not if we did not make the changes, if we shoot the turret, we should not use fly away. Let me show you the difference now.
let's send this back and when use the projectile stop now let's see thing that fixed the problem is the size of the projectile but if you still uh, using the uh, projectile and, uh, and making it not simulate physics you will have problems especially when the uh, vehicle moves when you hit a moving vehicle the vehicle will stop when you hit it with the bullets so better to uh, make the project uh, simulate physics and use the uh, hit result now let's let's shoot at the turret does not move let me show if I increase the size of the sphere the main problem is with, with the size of the sphere even with this code you we will have some problems sometimes So it does not happen frequently, but it will happen eventually. It will break a mess. So to make sure that uh, nothing happened like uh, you saw, uh, decrease the size of the projectile, especially if you are using it as a machine gun, as a high rate of fire projectile. But if you are using like rot low rate of fire, like a cannon, like the tank shell, it will not cause uh, problems. But to be safe, uh, decrease the size of the projectile. Now let's implement this, these changes to the main tank shell. Uh, we go to the sphere. Check simulate physics and uh, simulate generated result. Also check CCD. CCD uh, helps us that when the projectile moves, if you increase the speed of the projectile, it will uh, detect objects accurately. Because sometimes if you increase the speed of the projectile, maybe beyond 50,000 or more it will not detect the hits it will pass through objects to solve this problem you will use the CCD now we use the do once node now I think we do not have any problem now for this size I will leave it as 16 because it's a tank shell and we are using it, uh, it has low, slow rate of fire. 
every eight seconds we can shoot one also make sure you untick the velocity change option in the radial impulse and also make sure that you saw uh, this we, we did not need to stop uh, I mean uncheck this uh, box now let's try again and see the result Now it is better, nothing unpredictable happens. So, I think we are finished. This is just a quick video to address the problems with the projectile. I think we do not need any more. For I think I will stop now. This is just a small, uh, short video to address this problem. Thank you for watching, see you next time on another video.